So Rusted Default has a decent selection of blueprints that you get as soon as you spawn on any server, doesn't matter where you go. Let's say that's not the type of server that you run and you want to give your players something a little bit extra from default, stuff that they would normally have to research, but that they won't have to research on your server. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Like I said in the intro, Rust comes with a decent selection of default blueprints that you have right as soon as you spawn on the beach. You've got you've got tools right off the bat, uh, stone pickaxe, uh, stone hatchet, stuff like that. Like all of the basic tools that you know, and I know that you guys have all seen this before. Let's say we want to give our players something a little bit extra. Well, I'm going to show you a plugin today that does just that. And this is a request from a subscriber. He gave me the idea. I thought it was a good one, so I thought I'd go ahead with it. So we head over to our trusty umod.org website. I'll post a link for this plugin in the description down below. And let's just grab this plugin right quick. And we're going to paste it into our oxide slash plugins folder. And of course it generates no problem. So let's go have a quick look at the config that comes default as soon as you install this plugin. This is what it looks like right here. The one difference is I've already added in ammo.rifle during my testing process just to make sure that this plugin was actually working before I showed you how to use it. So there's a couple of different things that I wanna go over with you before we even start dealing with the config file, etc., etc. So we're just gonna go over the permissions that this plugin has built in within it and kind of what they do and uh, something for you to be cautious of while you're granting these permissions. So the first one here, blueprintmanager.admin gives you the ability as a as an auth level one or auth level two to make changes in the game. Is it necessary? Probably not. Once you've got this plugin set up, you're probably not going to need to make very many changes from inside the game. I would suggest that you just make all of your changes inside the config file. And then once you're done, just be done with it. Unless you want to, you know, add something down in the future, uh, you can do that, but you can still do that from the config file. The only thing that might be beneficial from having this permission added to yourself or your moderators is it gives you the ability to wipe blueprints from inside the game. Up to you if you want to decide to use that or not. The second permission that's down here is blueprintmanager.all. So if we apply this permission to a group or to a player, it will give them all of the blueprints. They won't have to research anything inside the So the caution that I wanted to give you when we're talking about the permissions that come with this plugin is you can accidentally grant somebody all of the blueprints in the game. So whoever you grant the permission blueprintmanager.all, they're going to have all of the blueprints by default. They won't have to research a single thing in the game. So while you might want to provide that for your admins or your moderators, you don't want that applied to your players. Or maybe you do, I'm not sure. Uh, but it is something that I wanted to point out to you that it's a big change to the game. And if you accidentally granted this to your players, they probably aren't going to tell you about it. And uh, it could cause some havoc on your on your server. This next permission, the third permission, is the permission that you're going to want to apply to the group. In most cases, you would apply this to the group called default uh, so that they get access to the blueprints that you've predetermined in your config file. If you don't grant this permission to any group, nobody is going to benefit from this plugin at all. So make sure that if you want all of your regular base players to have access to the blueprints that are that are in the config file, make sure you grant them this permission right here. And blueprint manager dot no workbench pretty clear. Uh, it makes it so that whoever you give this permission to makes it so that they are not required to be next to a workbench in order to craft those items. So the next section down below that is the different in-game commands that you can use. Um, you so like I said before, you can reset a blueprint or all of the blueprints for a certain player by using this command right here. You can unlock all of the blueprints for a specific player using this command here. You can unlock specific blueprints for a specific player using the third command. So let's hop into the config file for Blueprint Manager and see what that looks like. So when you first download the plugin, this is exactly what it's going to look like, save one thing. Um, I've already added in Ammo Rifle just to test to make sure that this was actually working properly before I went on camera to show you guys how to use it. Um, so this list is this is where you're going to build the default blueprints that you want your players to have access to 
right out of the gate, okay? And where you get these names from, so as you can see right there, I've used ammo.rifle, which is obviously 556 ammo. You have to use the short names for those items, not the numbers and definitely not the long names. You have to use the short names. And I'll show you where to get that list of short names right now. So we jump over to our trusty corrosionhour.com website and I'll post a link in the description down below like always so that you guys have quick and easy access to all of these short names. Let's just scroll down here and have a look for, so let's just search for uh, rocket launcher. All right, so here we go. This is rocket launcher right here. So we're just gonna copy that. We're gonna jump back over to our config file and we're gonna add this. And if you're not familiar with working with uh, C Sharp config files, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that you use this exact same formatting. So when you, first, when you first see this config file, I'll show you exactly what it looks like. It's gonna look exactly like this. And when you add items to it, you have to put the short name in quotations. And if you're using more than one short name, you have to put a comma and then the next line is your next short name. And that all, everything has to be inside of quotes. Okay, so for right now, let's just save this and we're going to reload Blueprint Manager. And then we're gonna hop in game and see if that worked. All right, so here we are in our game server. So let's just have a look here and see. So there we go. So Rocket Launcher is in my list of available blueprints that I did not have to research. And just for clarification, if we clip, flip over to the ammo, you can see I've already added 5.56. So as you can see, it's a super easy plugin to work with. Uh, it can be super useful if that's the type of environment that you want to have on your server uh, where people aren't necessarily grinding for, you know, various different blueprints. And, you know, you might be thinking, okay, like I don't want to give my players uh, rocket launchers and AKs and stuff like that. Well, you don't have to. Uh, I'm talking like as simple as just giving them metal mining tools or farming tools or whatever. Um, the sky's the limit. It's whatever you want to do on your server, you can customize this plugin to make it work best for you. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit that like for me, cost you nothing and it helps me out huge. If you'd like to see more content just like this, make sure you subscribe and turn on notification bells. If you want to check out one of my other videos from this series uh, called Rust Admin Academy, click that right there. And if you want to see my other channel, which is basically my whole personal life and all that stuff, I'll put a link right there. Click that box. As always, good luck. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me all the comments down below and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them. That's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.